Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Jocelyn Davis for Clever TV, and today we are on set with our friend Jennifer Stone on a new project. Yes, tell us about it. Well, I'm doing a show for Nickelodeon called Dead Time Stories, and it's so cool because it's the kind of show I would watch mm -hmm. when I was a kid. It's kind of like Goosebumps or Are You Afraid of the Dark, right. and it's based on the book series by Annette and Gina Cascone. And I play the babysitter and I come to each house of the kids that I babysit and I tell these stories and they've got everything like a, a horror fan or a scary whatever fan uh -huh. would love to see. So it's a, it's a pretty cool show, I have to say. So what is it like playing a babysitter? Because I know growing up, I babysat a ton. I don't know how good I was at it, but um, what's it like playing that character for you? Well, it's a lot of fun because I mean, I get to come to work and I just get to like be my inner kid. Because I feel like that's like, if you're a good babysitter, I feel like that's what you do. Exactly. Is you sort of get on their level and you are fun to be around, but still responsible. So, I mean, that's what's fun about coming to work is because I can just read them a story and have fun with them and I don't have to worry about getting them to bed on time. Exactly. You can go home at the end of the night. Yeah, well, it, it takes all of the pressure off babysitting <laughs> when you're just playing a babysitter on TV, so. So, tell me about some of these spooky stories that we're going to see because I feel like with the scary stuff, it's something that you want to watch so bad, yeah. but you also don't want to watch at the same time because you're so frightened, or at least I am. Yeah, yeah. No, I feel you. Yeah, I'm the same way. I'm like, I, I, I want to look away, but I can't. Um, but I mean, Annette and Gina Cascone literally covered the gamut of like all scary stuff. We've, we've got zombies, we've got ghosts, we've got magic, we've got these things called apple heads. I mean, there's all kinds of different sort of stories. I mean, every week is sort of a different spooky tale of anything that could possibly creep you up. So how is this new character different than the character that all of our fans and viewers <laughs> love you as Harper, obviously. How is this a different foray for you and what can the viewers anticipate? Well, one of, uh, Jenna, who plays one of the kids that I babysit, actually, I was telling you earlier, she was saying that um, it was funny because Harper is afraid of everything and the babysitter <laughs> wants to scare everybody. So I was like, oh, that's a really good point. I guess that's true, that they're the opposite of each other. But it's also kind of fun because, you know, I like the darker stuff in my life. Mm -hmm. And so it's kind of fun to sort of bring that element of my personality to this character. Rather with Harper, I brought out all the quirky, like crazy yeah, stuff in my personality. Exactly. So yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely different, but it's a lot of fun. Yeah, and you love to read too, I do love right? I to read, I'm a huge nerd, a huge bookworm. Nerds rule the world, and plus That's I feel true. like this is a much more Jen Stone sort it of is, outfit. It is, because I try to dress up for you. I'm used to seeing you like in a lobster oh, head or something know, crazy oh, like that. Lord. Like, I, I have to say, I love the costumes. I do, I love the costumes, but the moment they put me in that cactus thing, I was like, no, <laughs> too far, too far. I will do a marker dress, I will do a tiger on my shoulder, but the full on cactus, too much. So tell me a little bit about your own babysitting experience. I know you've been busy working yeah. full time throughout most of your teenage years, but did you ever get the chance to babysit? I did, I did uh, babysit a few times. Um, I don't, I, again, I don't know how good I was at it. Like I was great at the, this kind of thing to like read to them and yeah. like play video games with them and have fun with them. But I, I don't know how great I was at like being the authority figure. Oh, and yeah. Like the kids kind of figured out how to like override me a little totally. bit. But it's easy, it's not easy work. Like, no. God bless good babysitters. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a tough job. And what about some of the spooky stuff? I know you said you love the darker stuff. Yeah. Have you ever had any encounters, ghostly encounters that you can sort of say like, yeah, that was weird. Something yeah. was going on there. Um, well, I haven't had any ghostly encounters. I don't know if you would say. I've watched, I watch all those shows religiously. Actually, I do have something. I was on set doing a, a scary movie, and um, it's a long story, but I was having to like writhe up this wall, and um, I passed out, and it was weird. And it was like, it, it, it wasn't, like I didn't move my head in any weird way. It's just like I lost control of my body, and the next time I woke up, I was on the floor. And then later we were talking about, and it was all in this one area of the house, because like this, like it was near this closet, and this woman got like hit in the head by the closet door, like all this weird stuff was happening in that one corner. It's like a bewitched area. Yeah, that's what something. we were thinking. We're like, everybody get out of the corner, like there's something wrong with it, you know. Oh my so, gosh. well, what would you say has been the highlight about working on a new project like this one with Dead Time Stories? Well, it's just like a breath of fresh air. I mean, I love doing Wizards, and I love, yeah. you know being a part of the whole Disney Channel family and, and everything. Um, but it's like I spent so much time over there. So it's mm -hmm. nice to just take a deep breath and, and 
start anew and do something different. You know, yeah. it's it's with any new project, it's like that. Cool. Well, good to see you as good always. Give me an awkward hug. like wooden chair hug. Yes. <laughs> an awkward wooden chair hug always does the trick. You guys make sure to stick with Clever TV for all the details as far as air dates, of course, for this awesome project starring Jennifer Stone. And stick with us around the clock. We'll have all the details. I'm Jocelyn Davis. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys.